Okay, you know that some people can have chronic wounds, wounds that are slow to heal, even up to five years, ten years, and they are not diabetic. Watch this video to find out more about chronic leg ulcer in sickle cell patients. Welcome to Warriors Inspiration, the number one channel for sickle cell motivation. Hello guys, welcome back to Warriors Inspiration. My name is Hefo Donzrike. I'm a sickle cell warrior and I'm a medical student. So today we're talking about chronic leg ulcer. Please kindly like and subscribe to our video. And at the end, if you enjoyed the content, please comment. So what is chronic leg ulcer? Any injury to the leg below the knee that has lasted for more than three months, it's a chronic injury to the leg. And in sickle cell patients, there is chronic leg ulcer because there is less oxygen going to the lower limbs than it's going to the legs. And when the sickle cell, when the sickle cell blocks the blood flow to the leg, it now results in deprivation of oxygen to that part of the leg. So any small injury to that leg would lead to a wound. And then the wound can actually heal. If it heals in less than three months, it is just a, an, an acute chronic wound. But if it lasts more than three months, it becomes a chronic leg ulcer. And because of the low blood oxygen in sickle cell patients, the wounds tend to heal very slowly. But, that, but sometimes they heal actually. I personally have a chronic leg ulcer and that lasted for three years plus. Yes, three years plus. I had a friend that had his that lasted for up to 10 years. I have other friends too that have leg ulcer. Some of them have healed, yes. Mine too have healed severally. More than four times that healed and then it reopens again. So one thing about the leg ulcers is if there is movement or pressure to that part of the leg, that means walking around or running, it increases pressure to the leg and then there's lack of sufficient oxygen in the blood going to that part of the leg. So it's, it's very slow to heal. It's very slow to heal. So some factors that affect wound healing, aside from what I've mentioned, is age. Wounds heal slower in elderly patients, elderly people. Yeah. People that are malnourished, wounds heal slower in them. And people that have oxygen, insufficient oxygenation, like in sickle cell, wounds heal slower too. Then there are also some factors that can enable this healing. There are some vitamins that enable healing. Vitamin C, as we know, is very good with enable, en enabling healing. Zinc, yeah, zinc tablets, not roofing sheets. Yeah, so zinc tablets it helps healing, wound healing. And then vitamin A too is also good with wound healing. So these are the factors. And then good food. So you will not be malnourished. Good food that is a balanced diet. Have protein and carbohydrates. Protein is more is would would heal your wounds more. Yeah. So balance that diet. It's very good. So how do you care for this wound? If you have a chronic leg ulcer, how do you care for it? There is honey bulky dressing. You dress with honey, pure honey. Not all those, not those diluted honey that you add sugar inside and the, all the rest. P 
کیا ہونی لیسا ہونی دین بیڈ ریسٹ دا مینس یو آر لائن ڈاؤن اینڈ یو آر نوٹ اسٹریسنگ دی لیگ سم پیپل می بی ایموبلائزڈ ایموبلائزڈ مین دی آر نوٹ الاؤڈ ٹو موو سو دی لیگ ود ہیل اینڈ دی لیگ نوٹ بی اسٹریسڈ دی لیگ ایلیویشن یو ایلیویٹ یور لیگ وین یو ایلیویٹ یور لیگ بلڈ فلوز فاسٹر ٹو دی لیگز اینڈ دی It will help the wound to heal more. Yeah. So, um, I think I've covered everything. Take your vitamins, vitamin C, zinc, vitamin A, if you have. Eat well. My doctors usually say, my plastic surgeon usually say, take two boiled eggs per day. That would add to your nutrition. Yeah, take two boiled eggs per day. All hope is not lost if you have a chronic leg ulcer. You just need to have a bed rest, elevate the leg, dress the wound daily. If it's dead daily, you can dress it good daily. Dress it. If it's once in two days, you dress it. Then you reduce movement on that leg. I've used the walking stick before just to reduce pressure on my leg. So we use crutches. But if you have any bed rest and you have someone that is doing things for you so you don't move around, it will really help. So as warriors, we don't have to lose hope if we have this ulcer. It can prevent, I know, I know people that it has prevented them from doing their jobs. They have to quit their job. It has also actually made me miss school a lot. I was always on hospital bed. But then there is hope because... It can heal if you follow strict measures. Get someone that would help you around. Immobilize yourself. Have a bed rest. Dress the wound. Eat well. Take vitamins. The wound would heal. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Kindly like and subscribe. Also leave a comment. And We'll see you in our next video. Thank you.